Hello and welcome back to our fourth Lancashire Science Festival Science Live. We are giving you a sneak peek of all the amazing experiments and activities that are going to be going on during the Lancashire Science Festival this week. So the festival takes place between the 27th and the 29th of June, so that's this week. Um, on Thursday and Friday we're going to have two school days which are fully booked, but on Saturday the festival is open to everyone and it's completely free. All you need to do uh, to attend is register on our, um, and if you want to do that, just visit our website, all the details are there. You can walk up on the day, but if you register beforehand, it guarantees you a place and it's completely free. So if you are watching one of our broadcasts, please get in touch. You can use the social media to get in touch with us. The details are just below. And if you're a school watching and you want to say hello, take a picture, we'll tweet you back, we'll share on Facebook. Um, so please get in touch. Now I'm here today with Dr. Anna Kirkham. Anna, you're doing lots of things for the Science Festival this year, aren't you? Yeah, we have a show with students from my school. So we're doing a demonstration lecture called This is Amazing Chemistry. And I've been helped by some amazing first, second and third year students from Forensic and Applied Sciences. Oh, wow. So it's actual students who are here at the university who yeah. will be helping doing some of yeah, those shows. Yeah, so I've got virtually every demo is students doing the demos to Brilliant. show what we're doing. Fantastic. So you're going to share some chemistry experiments with us today. Are these a bit of a peek into what's going to be in the yeah, show? Yeah, so I've got one demo that is from our show that I'm going to do. It's a bit of a sneak preview. Brilliant. What's going to happen. Should we get stuck in then? Yeah. Fab. So what I'm going to show you is called Fire Tornado. So this is a combination of chemistry and physics. So to get the tornado part, I'm going to use some safety screens. So I just need to set these up the right way around first. So the safety screens are what makes it tornado. So I'm going to start off and we've got some different metals that we've dissolved in alcohol. And okay. we're going to burn them yeah. to show you that different metals, when you burn them, make a different colour. OK, so we've got a metal dissolved in an alcohol. Yeah. And we're going to add a flame. Yes. So it all, so it all we should. But there's something special about the way these screens are set up, isn't yeah. there? Yeah. So oh, wait, is that a surprise? I'm gonna, I'm gonna light it okay. and then explain it while it's going. Fab. Because I do think... we want to get the lights down? Yeah. So if people can. Okay. How? So that doesn't look like a normal flame. It's purple. So if I've got it open, we've got the purple flame and that shows that I've got some potassium metal in. Yeah. If I shut the safety screens and get them the right way around, you will see it's making a tornado. And that is because the air is being drawn in through the front of the screen and it's coming round and it's coming the gap out the other side. That's amazing. So this reminds me of something that we saw in one of the earlier broadcasts where we were talking about the fire triangle. So we needed three things which were the fuel, oxygen and the spark. So the fuel is that our alcohol and metal? Yeah. And then you added the spark with the splint, and the oxygen is coming in through the sides, isn't it? Which yeah. is creating that tornado effect. It's making it. Brilliant. Okay. That is very pretty. So it was so, purple though, wasn't it? Yeah, so that's potassium. Okay. So that's purple. So I'm going to show you a, another one. I'm going to show you. So this time I've got a coloured solution to start with. Right. And I've got some copper metal. Okay. Dissolved. So the colour of the liquid, which is our fuel, is blue. Yes. Does that mean the flame's going to be blue? Maybe. Okay. There's only one way to find out, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> so I can have the lights down again. I will light it. <gasps> wow, that is not blue. That is not blue. That's amazing. That's red. I love right. how the tornado you know, is. Well. Yeah, so you can see. So you get a bit of green in. So copper. I might like that. Okay, so copper is really good because it will change colour. Okay. Depending on how hot the flame gets. Yeah. So if it's hotter, it's a little bit more blue. Okay. Than if it's cooler. So that's why you sometimes see yellow, orange, oh. blue in. So copper's quite 
So we can tell you how hot the fire is as well by looking at the colour. Yeah, the, wow. the copper. Okay. Okay, so do one that some people might recognise the colour of. Do you want me to take that? <laughs> um, so if we change over. So this time I've got sodium. So okay. this is actually just normal salt. Okay. Like you have in your chips? Yeah. Okay. That I've dissolved in our alcohol. Okay. So we've got the alcohol. Is it the alcohol and the metal that both burn together? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's the alcohol is burning. Good for lights. And it is. Wow. So this one's really bright. So it's a test. So you can see the moving the screen is creating yeah. the tornado effect. Because the air is coming in and going yeah. out, so it twists around. Yeah. That's really orange. It reminds me of old street lights. Yeah. Yeah. For that. <laughs> That's a bit. So that one was sodium, the one before was copper, yeah. and then the first purple one was potassium. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to end with my favourite one. Yeah. And my favourite one is lithium. Okay. Lithium. That lithium. sounds like quite an exotic metal. It is. It's not something that you come across too much. Yeah. But the reason why my students at university do things like this yeah. is that this has quite an important aspect from de detecting if you've got a water sample what metals could be contaminated in it. Okay, so looking at pollution and that sort of thing. Yeah. And from a forensic point of view. Okay. Wow. So, so this is my favourite one. So it's quite faint, isn't it? But I think it's red, is it? Yeah. Oh, so it should be so really, pretty. really nice pinky red. And if it was pitch black, oh, you, you can see, see the colour. Amazing. Thing. But yeah, so one of so part of the research is we look at the colours. Yeah. And whereas we can see the different colours, yeah. we can use instruments that can look at the colours that can tell you what element or what metal is in a solution. So every different metal will be a different colour. Right, so if you were doing an experiment in a lab and you wanted to find out what metal was in a solution, you could use one of these machines or these instruments to measure the colour. Yeah. That's really clever. And it'll tell you what it is and how much. Brilliant. Oh, well, thank you so much for sharing that with us, Anna. Um, if, you, if you are interested in... Are we OK to move these, please, yes. Anna? Yes, sorry, lift them down. Thank you. If you are interested in seeing any more... Um, experiments or activities please come along to the Lancashire Science Festival on Saturday there's absolutely loads to see and Dr Anna Kirkham and her students will be here um, doing that's amazing chemistry this is this amazing is amazing chemistry, chemistry. this is amazing chemistry um, are you in the which do you know which lecture theatre we're in Darwin lecture theatre in the morning and be prepared for lots of fire explosions colour Sounds fantastic. So if you like lots of fire, explosions and colour, you know the place to come on Saturday. Lancashire Science Festival, completely free to attend. Please register before. Um, the instructions on how to do that are on the website below. Thank you so much, Anna. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you back here at 2 o'clock for our final broadcast of the day.